I am so sad and I am such a klutz. I was editing some videos and I was thinking to myself like where is a video that I recorded, a get ready with me video and I can't find it anywhere. I haven't edited it. I hate saying that. Edited it, edited it. it. And I think I have deleted it and Usually I just talk shit in my get ready with me videos, but that video I really really wanted. Maybe you guys wouldn't have found it super fun, but I would have. So I was reading my horoscope for like the Pisces for 2021 and my year was going to be shit, it seems like. 2020 I know for the world it was not great, but 2020 for me personally was great. And now it seems like 2021 is not going to be great. It looks like I was going to break up with Nicholas and then in the end of the year, I was going to move at home with my mom or move home to my mom. So in that video, I was like crying and I was like, I don't wanna lose Nicholas, yada, yada, yada. And the, the comic thing is that right after that, our relationship has been like, just, it has been so lovely. We have been so nice to each other. We have done so many fun things together. Okay, we haven't, but <laughs> we have done fun things at home together. It's just been a blessing and I feel so, I don't know, like I just wanted that footage maybe to be able to look back on, <sighs> but I must have deleted it. I'm such a klutz. I don't know how much this video is gonna be about me talking, but maybe a lot about makeup because I got some new makeup. I didn't purchase it. I got it from a friend, a subscriber, and she had wrapped each and every product so beautifully. And I was like, you know, when I open like one or two things, it's uh, the thing is that it's so many luxurious products. And I was like, <gasps> and I told Nicholas, like when I get home from work, because he actually picked up the package for me. And I told him when I get home, we're going to sit in the kitchen and we're going to open this together. So <laughs> when I was opening everything, I was like, oh my God, look at this. This is a sponge. And then this is a, I cried a little bit, <laughs> let me tell you that. This is the Elements Primer. I did not get that, but a product that I was like, oh, that I got was this. This is the Misha BB Cream. Let me zoom you guys in just a tad. Um, everyone is talking about this. Everyone is talking about this and I have wanted to try it for such a long time. I think I was planning on purchasing it one time and then I just didn't. The shade. You know, even Nicholas, he doesn't know anything about makeup. And when I was watching it, let me just take it on my hand a little bit and then do like this. I don't know how well you can see it, but he was like, isn't that a little bit gray? And I was like, shush, shush. But when I, I used it um, this Friday because I couldn't restrain myself, it's like, you know which Friday I'm talking about. No, <laughs> I used it for work at a Friday. Oh, let me just take my Dr. Jart. Sika pair right here. That was like the smallest blob I've ever taken in my entire life. And the Misha BB cream was like super beautiful. It has a little bit more coverage than you would expect a BB cream to have. Like usually you would think that a BB cream isn't um, or doesn't have that much coverage, but from my understanding in Asia, the BB creams have a little bit more coverage than it does in the Western world. So I'm just going to start applying that and just, you know, even though it might look a little bit gray on my hand, when it comes into my skin or when it sits on my skin, it's not gray at all. And some people that loves this is for instance, Jessica Brown. <laughs> Brown, uh, James Welsh, and a bunch of other amazing people. So one thing I did wanna talk about, I'm not gonna talk about this too, too long. I'm just gonna say my two cents on it because a tragedy has happened and this is not something that I find 
funny. It's not something that I find uh, humorous. It's it, it really is a tragedy and I feel so sorry for every woman living in Poland. Oh my god, let me take up my phone so I don't read you the wrong things, but... Fuck the government. It's no surprise to any of you guys that I am pro-abortion. I think abortion is necessary, I think it's needed, I think it's something that no other person should say anything about to another person, like you are not allowed to decide over my body. That's it. So it's just like this, that they will only allow abortion to happen when you are getting pregnant, like after you have been raped, incest, or when uh, the mother's life is at stake. And I can just see what's going to happen. So many women will claim to have been raped when they haven't, so that they can uh, get the abortion. Maybe they just had sex with their boyfriend, partner, like uh, whomever. They didn't get raped, but then they got pregnant. and. Oh my god. And then they got pregnant and they are not allowed to do an abortion, which I think is insane. <sighs> they will not conduct any abortion if someone is sick, have a disability, or just bad health in general. So now people are having like riots. They are so mad. Another thing that is going to happen is that the mother is going to try and remove the fetus herself. She is going to, I don't know, drink things. She's going to push things up her vagina so that the fetus will die and I, th I think it's a tragedy. I think I feel so bad for every woman living in Poland as I said and that's that. If there is any petition I will leave it down below so that you can just go and, and print your name on it. And I don't wanna hear anyone being like pro-life or whatever, because if you are, I don't care. I honestly, I don't care. No one, man or woman, should tell me that I need to risk my life for a baby I don't want, for a child that is not gonna be loved in their life, that is not gonna be wanted in life, that is, no no i'm sorry and that's another thing like <sighs> poland is going to produce so many unwanted babies no one will want these babies no one will love these babies no one will take care of these babies so they will just be pushed into the system and no one will ever look at them again and that is the biggest tragedy of all enough said about that i just want to say this Misha BB cream, do you see how it looks on my skin? Because I do. I still feel like it looks like skin. I still feel like it, sorry. <laughs> I still feel like it looks very natural, but it still has a little bit of coverage. I still think that you could like blend this out with your day cream if you wanted a little bit of less coverage, but there is something about it that I can't explain about the way it looks on my skin. It just looks super healthy, super glowy, super beautiful, and again, like super natural. And I really think that it suits my skin tone a lot. Like. I was a little bit scared. I was <laughs> Googling when I was going to use it the first day. I was like, okay, should I blend in yellow or should I blend in pink to make the gray go away a little bit? But then I got super stressed because I had to go to work and I didn't have time. So I was just like, I'm just gonna wing it and see if we can make it work. So I didn't blend it with anything and it just looked gorgeous no matter what. Or I feel like it just blended into my skin beautifully. I am taking my Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow palette. And you see, we actually hit pan on this shade, which I thought was very interesting. I'm just bronzing up my skin, and then I'm just gonna go off camera to do my brows. I recently did my brows, like how I do my fluffy brows in one of my Get Ready With Me's. 
it's super quick like I know a lot of people isn't into brows or seeing how other people do their brows because it's so personal but I just added it in there because I used the Anastasia brow freeze and so many people had asked me about that so I just wanted you to be able to see it um, how I used it just for myself or how I used it and how I liked it. So if you wanted to see that, I can just link the video right up there. Eyeshadow primer is also on. I thought that I would show you two different eye products that I am thinking about using. I haven't decided which one. And I wanna do like such a basic look today. I don't wanna do anything special. I say that a lot and then I do. But first and foremost, Hourglass Scattered Glide. I'm getting tears in my eyes. Oh, how can makeup be this exciting? Okay, maybe I should zoom you guys in. So this is what it looks like. It's just a gold in the shade foil. I am so excited about this. I, I really wanna test it out and see how I like it. Maybe even purchasing some new shades. But then I also got a palette from Pat McGrath. Yeah, I know. And this is only uh, four shades. So it's a quad. And it looks like this. So I think she has repressed this shadow because I assume that it arrived broken. And this shade was so beautiful. And like all the shades in here looks beautiful. Let's use path and then tomorrow before work, I can use foiled because that is like a everyday shadow but I don't have any mattes so I am just gonna dig into one of my palettes maybe I'm gonna take my own palette I think I'm just gonna start off with the baby face or whatever it's called and uh, <clears throat> use right here under my brows you know the drill maybe I should just do this off camera so you don't have to see it so I am going to hop into this shadow right here. As you guys know, I am the kind of person or I have become the kind of person that, you know, I love makeup. I want to get new makeup, but I also want to use the makeup that I have. It's sort of like a battle that I have all the time. Every time I see something super pretty come out, I'm like, and then I try to think about all the things that I can't use and yeah, anyway. I have talked about the fact that I find it hard to find similar channels like me, especially um, that I vibe with and that I like. Like I get that there are so many channels like me out there, but at the same time, I also want someone that I enjoy watching. And I have gotten so many recommendations for channels that is doing low buys or very, very strict. Did I say low buys? I mean no buys or very, very strict low buys. So for instance, someone on, that has like a replacement only kind of, uh, channel that is like okay if I run out of all of my concealers then of course I'm allowed to purchase a concealer um, but other than that it is just a no buy with nothing else I think that that is the only shade I'm going to take and then let's hop into the path palette I don't even know what this is called this is called Celestial Divinity Lux Quad Interstellar Icon Eyeshadow Quad no idea. So I am actually gonna hop into this. It looks very gray when I swatch it, but it has like green shifts and all. So let me just tap her on. Ooh. I think I'm just gonna do like a smoky eye. I was thinking that doing something lighter in my inner corner, but let's just take this color. Again, I, we wanted something super simple. Maybe we can take a little bit of highlight in our inner corner later on, but not now. <sighs> anyway, <clears throat> anyway, I should vibe with these sort of channels. And I have, I have subscribed to so many of them. But now when they are doing their monthly check-in, I can just see how many of them are naturalistic into their rules 
I get it. If someone comes up with your dream product, I understand you. I wouldn't call it failing because I definitely don't think that they are failing, but I can understand like breaking your rules or not. Um, it's not going how you planned. However, when I see them, I'm just gonna start blending this. When I see them like coming up with excuses for like, oh, but I saw this foundation and I had a really bad day, so I just purchased it. No judgment. Just need to say that. No judgment. If you wanted to purchase that, obviously you wanted to, you did. But that is not the kind of channel that I'm looking for. So even though like 2020, I followed a bunch of channel that had like, uh, I can only spend X, I can only spend X amount of dollars every month, or I can only purchase three products every month, or I can only, you know, da 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 da. And all of them, most most of them anyway, were breaking the rules every single month. So it, it wasn't like they were sticking to the rules. So they could say that they had like a low buy or no buy year when in fact they didn't. And that is sort of my problems because they have put themselves in a box. They have said, this is the sort of channel I will be and nothing else. Ooh, this was actually very, very pretty. I know it looks very messy. I've gotten great use out of my uh, Tarte concealer this month. I actually finished up my Dose foundation. I finished up my Makeup Revolution <laughs> concealer. So now I had to go into my second darkest shade. The other one was my darkest shade. But when they say that I am going to be this sort of channel, that is what the viewer will expect them to be, and they will be disappointed. I have followed channel channels that has been like, I am only gonna purchase this or this or this, and then they break it because they just realized that they wanted to slow down, and then they put themselves in this box, and they couldn't live up to that and that is okay it's okay to try and it's okay to yeah just to try and test and see what's gonna work out for you but the problem is when people come to me and they say oh you should watch this channel it's a no buy channel they are not purchasing any makeup this year and then i see that they are purchasing a lot of makeup this year they are purchasing maybe just a little bit less than the usual I did. And I'm like, yeah, but that's not the kind of channel that I'm looking for. They say that they are a no buy, low buy channel, but in fact, they are purchasing more than the average person. And I try to not, I'm not judging them. It's just that I, I am not looking for that kind of content at the minute because I am struggling myself. I think it's hella hard not to purchase um, whatever it might be. Like I have so many things that I just wanna purchase all the freaking time and I don't wanna be triggered. <laughs> I hate that word, triggered, into buying them because I, I just, I feel like I don't need them. I have goals this year that I kind of wanna I wanna meet my goals, I wanna be able to use some products up. And that is my personal goal. Like I have this palette that I've been working on for a freaking year. And do you see how close I am to finishing? I only have one shade that I wanna finish up. But I, I am so close, so. Oh, that is just one of my kind of struggles. And again, I, I think that we're gonna see a lot of people not stick to their low buy or no buy kind of thing. A lot of channels also has, um, they do low buys or no buys because they have purchased so much and they kind of want to at least do a video on it. Um, so for instance, let's just say that it is eyeshadow palettes and they have purchased maybe, I don't know, they have 50 palettes that they wanna do a video on. It is still going to be like, hey, this is a new product. I'm just gonna 
do like a first impression on it even though they have not purchased it this year they purchased it another time and they're doing like a first impression on it this is the thing like this is why i need to go in with this powder so freaking much because it doesn't really set i have even had to like take my spoolie in this powder and try to be um and try to like make it a little bit of a loose powder and it's still now it's starting to not be wet i don't want it to be wet under my eyes i am okay with being wet oh. <laughs> all, uh, all over my face but not under my eyes this might be a little bit late but <laughs> i asked you guys on some questions on instagram and i thought that i would just answer them but first, I I have so many amazing products here that I, I just really want to try. Um, so first and foremost, MAC Highlighter Palette, Makeup Geek Highlighter Palette, NARS Bronzer and Blush Duo, um, Hourglass. So we're going to hop into Hourglass today highlighter blush and bronzer and this is lightly used she has some products were brand new and some products were a little bit used when she sent them to me and i am totally okay with that this might be a little bit ooh, this might be a little bit too warm for my liking but if we tap into it very gently maybe we'll like it so let's see do I find it unfair that girls with no blending skills and weak personalities have a hundred thousand subscribers? Because I do. She said, not me. Um, I have never thought about it. I was about to dip into my, <laughs> to my uh, <laughs> mobile phone. It is probably unfair, but I think it is because maybe we find them to have weak personalities and other people loves it. I know that there is one ch channel out there that is super calm. She's very la -di da and she has, ooh, I can't remember how many subscribers she has. And I, I find her to be amazing at makeup. But it's just that I don't get how she can have so many subscribers. When she has so boring videos. Like, do you know what I mean? It's a little bit... Yeah, it is maybe a little bit unfair, but it's just my view. My view th is that she doesn't have a strong personality. Well, other people loves that and craves that. Maybe she's very unique, like someone coming to my channel and being like but she what, what what the fuck is this person she's all over the place and she's not really that good at english oh i gotta do this i'm so sorry swedish word of the day i got a question if i could use the word end as a question or as a swedish word of the day and that is slut slut just because of the fact that it's spelled the same way as slut there you go. So yeah, maybe it is a little bit unfair, but it's at the same time, it's not. I think that, you know, we, we always talk about jealousy and that being a bad thing. I don't think it is. I think it is the way we act. You know, if I come to someone's home and I am super jealous about the way it looks, why am I not allowed to say that? Like, I am so jealous of the way you live. I. I want to steal your home and that's going to turn it into a good thing but if i am like acting very badly and being like oh is this the way you live and being like talking down to this person or being a dick about it no that's not okay that's taking jealousy to a bad way but if i'm being like if i'm telling someone like i am so jealous of you for having this collaboration or for um having so many subscribers that also interact with you guys because 
I, I don't get this. I think some channels purchase, this is a whole nother rant, but I think some people actually purchases subscribers because I saw like there was last year, there was this trend that I saw so many channels that had like maybe 180,000 subscribers, but they had like less views than I had. And that's a little bit suspicious. I'm just gonna do it like this. While I'm doing this, it's like someone telling me like, oh, I love your lashes, they're beautiful, and I'm so jealous of them. Or someone telling me that, oh my god, you have the worst lashes in the entire world. They look so thick and spidery or whatever. Like, there's a difference between how you act on your jealousy. So my favorite at the minute is still the Misha BB cream. Oh, so pretty. Okay, another question was, do you want to be a mom in the future? Uh, I am a mom. I am a dog mom. <sighs> I find this question to be, I know that this person, because I know uh, a little bit about this person, so I know she's coming from a good place and doesn't mean any harm. But at the same time, like you don't know if I've tried to be pregnant or tried to get pregnant for 10 years. So that question can hurt, even though I know that this person doesn't come from a bad place. So if you're sitting there feeling something like don't, it's okay. I'm okay and I get what you're, where you're coming from, but I think we all need to take a little bit, we need to be a little bit cautious when asking those kinds of questions because you never really know what someone else is going through. You don't know if they have started IVF or um, if they cannot get pregnant and that question can just kind of hurt them into their core. So I think it's just important to be a little bit cautious. Again, how many times can someone say cautious? I think I wanna use this blush as well. Let's do it. They have a little bit of spark to them. So I'm just gonna take this. This is an old Kix brush. Oh, that feels a little bit too dense. No, I think it's great um so if i want to be a mom like that kind of depends um i've always hated children up to the point where i was like 20 and then i started working at a kindergarten because i think the way i hadn't i had never been around children like small children so i think i kind of thought about children in a way where you hear a child scream in the bus or something, you know, when they are very um, annoying. And then I started working at a kindergarten and I just fell in love with children. And I just thought that they were like the best thing in the entire world. Like I loved all of my little children. I still think about them when I, um, you know, at sometimes. So I don't hate children right now. <laughs> right now like i don't hate children anymore and i think that they are fantastic and sure i would love to have a child but the thing is that you you have to sacrifice so much you kind of have to sacrifice your entire life for a kid it is a completely different lifestyle and i don't know if i'm ready to give up my entire life for that kind of lifestyle i'm just gonna take this um is it a highlight or is it something else like that means that if i want to travel i need to do completely different trips there there means like no more partying or staying up late or not having any responsibilities well, i don't know about this highlight though i know i am a little bit like i like a little bit more highlight maybe i can just dust this a little bit like here, here, or maybe it's the powder that people use all over their face. So let's try it out. Because I bought one of these from Makeup Revolution and it was like a highlight, it was way too much. This, I don't think that this is too much. This is actually pretty neat, but I don't think it was great as a highlight. So if I want to be a mom, depends, again, it, it's a lifestyle and it's the same thing. Like I am a very, this is going to sound horrible, I know, but 
my whole thing here on my channel is to kind of talk very openly with you, you, you guys. And I am a very selfish person. I love spending on myself, like, new clothes, or if I want new decor to my home, or if I want a new luxurious palette. And I know that if me and Nicholas decides to get a kid, we have to think differently. Maybe we will start sharing our economy. I'm just gonna take my pixie highlight because I know this is like the, the best of the best. And then if we want to purchase something for ourselves, maybe we need to discuss it. Maybe we need to just sit down and talk about it and be like, no, babe, this month we don't have any money for you to purchase this pixie highlight. Or I love to wake up early in the morning and get ready, do my makeup without someone interrupting me. And that is also something that I am going to have to think about. Or the fact that you know, I've been sick for many, many years and a lot of people doesn't realize it, but I haven't even been healthy for over a year. I haven't been the way that I am right now for over a year. It's like I've gotten my life back and then just changing it. No, I want to be a little bit more stable like Nicholas and I, we want to move. I want to move closer to my mom um, and his parents his mom anyway and that family his dad lives in a completely different town so again it is i know <laughs> i keep saying it but it is um a lot to sacrifice and right now no i am using protection <laughs> i am not having a kid at the moment I think I'm gonna take this from Pixie. This is the Posh Nude Liquid Lipstick. This is the thing. This is the ABH Brow Freeze. And it doesn't last in my brow. Like, look at this. Now I'm just brushing it up. I want it to stay like that. I even, like, push it. But it just goes down, and I don't know what I've done to deserve this. Liquid Lipstick Posh Nude from Pixie. I am going to get dressed and let this dry and then I'm gonna go in with Cake Shake, a gloss from Fenty. Whoops. And I will do something about this hair and then I will be back. I find the Fenty glosses a little bit hard to use actually as a mini because I feel like even though I know that I have a bunch of product in this one, it's like I still need to like scrape the sides in order to get something up. And it's been like that for since almost they were brand new, which is a little bit annoying, annoying, annoying. Anyway, I thought that I would just sum up some of my um, thoughts about the products that I use today. My neighbor is... I don't know what he's doing. He's doing this. He's doing construction work all the freaking time. Anyway, the Misha BB cream, I promise you guys, uh, this is all I want to use. Yes, it is brand new to me, so take it with a pinch of salt because usually when a product is brand new to a person, you kind of hype them up a lot. And but but Truthfully, I understand the hype with it. I find it to be super beautiful and I am absolutely in love with it. So hopefully I will stay in love with it. It contains 50 milliliters, I think. Yes, 50 milliliters. It has SPF 42, but still use SPF every single day. I use it every single day as well. I have this shade 23, in case anyone were wondering. Then we also used the Path McGrath palette that I don't know what it's called. One shade we used. I find this to be very beautiful. I, I also, wait. I find this look to be pretty similar to a look that I did with the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. Uh, then I used this uh, all over my lid what I was saying is that I find whoop, don't get me wrong I love this Urban Mechanic Reloaded palette I think that it's beautiful 
but the difference between this and the Pat McGrath one is that this one has a little bit of more sparkle to it. So if you have the Naked Reloaded palette, I don't feel like you need this if you only wanna use the shade that I have. But this has a bunch more sparkle to it and it is a little bit more alive, if you will. So that was so much fun. And then the Hourglass palette, this is the Hourglass Diffused Light Ambient Light palette diffused light euphoric fusion luminous bronze light the bronzer i think is actually pretty beautiful once it's on the skin i was scared that it was going to be a little bit too warm but i do actually find it to be pretty beautiful the blush it's pretty it's not a cream but it is pretty but i think this is the shade that i'm actually gonna dip into because i feel like it just looks beautiful um you know, around my T-zone where I put it. It's not a highlighter like I I tried to use it like, and it's also a little bit too light to have be a highlighter on my skin, I think. But it is super sheer and it just makes the skin look very um, healthy, if you will. But that's all from me today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a little thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.